let us go to question 1.2 of question 1 2022. One of the many investment options in South Africa is the stock fell option. Um, table 2 below shows two stock fell plans. So also, if you don't know the meaning of a word, don't be too caught up in terms of what it means. Um, so we know they're talking finance and we know they're talking investment options. Don't be too, like if you don't know what a stock fell is, for instance, don't be too caught up in that. Plan A and Plan B are over a 24-month period, meaning they're over two years. I haven't been asked yet, but I'm just going to assume, okay? United African stock fell, okay? So we've got plan A and we have plan B. Choose how long you want to save for. And then it says here the saving period is 24 months. How much do you want to save monthly? And then it says the monthly contribution here is 2,500 rand. And then the total is going to be that much. What you need to remember is that the total is going to include interest in it. Okay. So it's going to be including interest. And then um, choose how long you want to save for. Now it's plan B that I'm reading. Remember I said before you go to your questions, look at your scenario and look at what you need to do. Choose how long you need to save for. So it says here again, 24 months for both plans. Um, how much do you want to save once off? So here we have a monthly contribution and then here we have a once off contribution. So it's very important for us to look at such words. Once off and monthly. Total amount at the end of 24 months. Um, now we have this and this has the interest in it as well. Let's look at the questions. It says there, use table B above to answer the question that follow. Define investment in the given context so in this given context investment would be money that you put away for um, a long period of time or money that you put away um, for 24 months so in this given context remember also when you have a context like this one your words are your words so you could have said something else money that is put away for 24 months in this aspect and gains interest. So when you are asked to give in your, in your own terms or your own words, don't be scared. Those are three marks. Calculate the total contributions for plan A over a period of 24 months. Let's go back to plan A. So plan A is 2,500 that we have been given over there and you're putting it away for 24 months. So 2,500 times 24 months. You don't have to write the months, but I'm writing it obviously um, 2,500 times 24 months. So that's 60,000 Rand. Okay. So 60,000 Rand. That's it. You get your two marks there. Calculate the interest earned. Interest um, is another word that's very popular that I also find learners have a bit of an issue with. Know the difference between interest and interest rate. Interest is the extra money that you are earning and interest rate is the percentage. Know the difference between interest and interest rate. So it says calculate the interest earned. So calculate the extra money earned if a person invests in plan B over 20 a 24 month period so if i look at interest in this particular regard i said extra money right if i'm putting in we're talking about plan b if i'm putting in sixty thousand, um and in that sixty thousand, i take out ninety two thousand after that it means there was interest earned okay so in that interest earned we need to subtract the two values 
Whenever you are finding interest, you are subtracting something. That's a key word um, there for you. So we know that at the end of the investment period, the person has 92,000 and 65,71 minus uh, 60,000. Okay. Let us go calculate that. That is 92,000 and 65. Oh, no, there's no comma. 92,000 and 65. You see that mistake that I made over there. So just be careful um, when it comes to that. One, two, three. And the interest is 32,000 and 65. Also know how to write these numbers in words because you could easily be asked that. The next question says to us, uh, determine how much more interest. So again, you're going to be uh, subtracting something. A person will earn investing in plan B compared to investing in plan A over the same um, 24 month period. So we want to know how much more interest. Okay, so how much more am I going to get from all of that? So we know that for plan A, the interest for plan A is going to be 74,286, 84. Minus um, 60,000. Remember, we said that that person made 60,000, right? Let's go check again. So that person uh, made 60,000 in plan A. I mean, they put in 60,000. Minus the 60,000 that was put in initially. So that's 74,000. 74,286. 84 minus 60,000. 1, 2, 3. So the interest earned for plan A is 14,286. Okay, let's check that number again. Comma 84. Okay, and then we know from the previous question that plan B, ooh, plan B, the interest for plan B, according to our calculation, is 32,065. So these two interests need to be subtracted with each other. Okay. Therefore, um, how much more interest is going to be 14,286,84? Oh, sorry, we can't subtract um, a positive number with a, we can't subtract a big number and a small number. Okay, the other way around. So we can't, we can't say 14,000 minus 32,000. So it has to be 32,000, otherwise it's going to give us a negative number. 32,000 minus... 14,286. And I'm not rounding off. I'm writing my numbers exactly as they are. Okay, so 32,065. 32,065 minus 12,000. Okay, just be careful. Delete, delete. Minus 14,286, comma 84. So the difference in interest is 17,778. Okay, so the interest is quite large, um, actually. The interest is quite... Look at that. I didn't even need to round off. Okay, and it's not telling me to round off either. So it, it's not saying I must round it off to a whole number or anything. It's exactly as it is. Exactly as it is. 